everyone. Hey, 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 I'm very cool, very. Matter they happen. Ah, Tinibu, Mr. Strategist with no strategy. The things that happen is, you know, you just wonder. Some people are thinking that uh, Tinibu is uh, going to do anything for this country. In short, I mean, my advice to everybody is brace up. Brace up. Just read this headline. It says, exclusive from Sahara reporters. Tinibu's redeployed chief security officer refuses to leave Aso Rock Vida as governors. Others push to keep him to ensure access to president. Who's president? The illegitimate president, anyways. Remember a few, uh, was it the last week or the, uh, two weeks, a couple of weeks ago, there was a report that the chief security uh, officer to Tinibu has been redeployed by DSS. I even did a video on it and I was like, hmm, is there something we don't know? Is there something happening? That's why they are uh, trying to uh, change our rejig. Is there something going on underground on the G? There were even some people who said that, oh, it's a normal thing that when a new director general of DSS comes, he will ensure that it is people loyal to him that are around whatever however anyway that's a long story that they say he was redeployed he's going to go on uh what was this on some training but guess what now there's report that the guy cack for grass say you know they go anywhere i don't i'm imagining when i tell you people nigeria has no president nigeria has no government people will be aisha this oh aisha your own you too they do you too they this you too they do that you they Una get president. Una get government. Anyway, shall let me just come. Let me just come back to Sahara reporter. Sahara reporters gathered on Tuesday that Fasasi has the backing of some state governors and other influential people to remain in the villa, having allegedly received monies from them to ensure regular access to Tinubu. Ah, I just remember that thing that Peter B said. He said, "If you are not corrupt, your wife is not corrupt." Your children are not corrupt. There's no how anybody within the corridor will be corrupt. So true. Somebody is working for you, is collecting money for people to have access to you. Anyway, we, we call it corruption. They call it business as usual. The chief security uh, officer to uh, Bolatinibu, Adegbo Yega Fasasi, has refused to leave Aso Rock Villa despite being redeployed by the director, director general of the Department of State Services, DSS, Tosin Ajayi, since October 20th. Top sources in the presidency revealed to Sahara reporters. Sahara reporters gathered on Tuesday that Fasasi had the backing of some state governors and some influential people to remain in the villa, having allegedly received monies from them to ensure regular access to Tinibu. Some other officials in the villa, however, accused the CSO of a pattern of receiving bribes to screen those who could see Tinibu and those who would not. Some officials at the villa accused the CSO of having a pattern, oh, I just read that, of receiving bribes to control access to uh, Tinibu, deciding who gets to see him or who doesn't. She just repeated the same thing. I don't know why newspapers always do this thing. There's a lot of pressure by governors and inflation people from whom he has collected money to keep him saying he has been there we can confirm from villa that the cso refused to leave one of the sources said ah ah yeah 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 hey this is the, this is the person people are waiting for to tackle issues in nigeria yeah you see this suffering promise eh? uh, everybody starting bell too Unless if we are ready to come out and do something about it and say enough, enough, enough. But if we are not ready to do enough, it's enough, eh? No, Allah, we just keep enduring. Nigerians are good at enduring. Should they say, if you push Nigeria to the wall, instead of them to react, but they will carve uh, this thing. But the things that people are already reacting, they are different with. That's all the kidnapping, the killings, the whatever that we, we see. But unfortunately, they are reacting to their fellow people and not coming out and legitimately making the mind. But anyway, just. Let me go back. There's a lot of pressure by governors and influential people from whom he has collected money to keep him, saying that he has been there. We can confirm from Villa that the CSO refused to leave, one of the sources said. He is accused of shaking down people to visit uh, Tinibu. The, the logic of those supporting his stay is weird. They claim that if he leaves, they will have to bribe the new person afresh to have access to Tinibu. The source for that is <laughs> Hey, hey, Tinibu, my market. 
<laughs> so now get out of Villa Nana cinema or whatever it is. Uh, so they are selling gate pass. When you are coming, you bribe to enter. When you are, if you want to come and see uh, the relic that you people have there, they will bribe to go and see him or whatever. And it's at the, the, for this, it's, it's, it's going on with impunity. I think this is normal thing. Because they are not hiding it. They say, if he goes now, we have to pay a, new, a whole new person. So until the money, until our ticket assets has finished, you are going nowhere. And then the person that redeployed him cannot, I don't understand. You are DJ of a place, you redeploy a boy and he's still there. You are not packing him and whatever out of that place. But anyway, Sha, do we even have a president? We don't. That's the problem. <sighs> Some powerful people are backing Fasasi and are negotiating to let him leave in December. Another source corroborated. Sarah reporters on October 20 reported that the director general of the uh, DSS or State Security Service SSS Ajayi had removed Fasasi from his position as a CSO to Tinubu. Fasasi was replaced by Rashid Atanda Lawal, a deputy director of the SSS who is currently enrolled in a fellowship course at the National Institute for Security Studies. According to reports, uh, Tinubu approved Fasasi's re removal, so he even knows he has approved the removal and the guy refused to go. Aye. Eh? When you don't have legitimacy, you rig your way to election to just become this poor. Just to sit down there and be buying toys for yourself. Buy, message, uh, buy presidential car, buy presidential yacht, buy presidential uh, uh, plane and all of that. I... Ah, according to a, a report, Tinibu approved Assassin's removal at the request of the DSS DG, who cited the need to send him for a strategic call. A common pretext for replacing uh, top security officials close to the president. It was learned that Lawal was due for promotion to the rank of director in July 2023, but the former management stalled his advancement reportedly because he was not favored by the previous uh, DG. In March 2019, then uh, President Muhammad Buhari uh, approved the redeployment of the chief security officer Bashir Abubakar and appointed Idris Ahmed as his replacement. The Director General of SSS, Yusuf Bichi, reportedly persuaded the President and Mr. Bashir needed to attend a strategic course at a university in Buenos Aires, Buenos Aires, Argentina, leading to his replacement. Meanwhile, in September, the DSS redeployed its, its spokesperson, Dr. Peter Afunaya, and has not named his replacement. While addressing a press conference at the headquarters of the service in Abuja, Afunaya explained that the new media policy of the service is to be less visible in media and public spaces. The recent uh, decision signals a regression to the service's former practice of secrecy, characterized by a lack of transparency, accountability, and openness in its interaction with the public, you know, and the media. Anyway, Sha, this is where we are, oh, my people, my people. When I don't get president, I don't get government. Nigeria is just an autopilot. God help us. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.